It's the Subway NFL Post Game Show, and Jeff Garcia came back to Detroit. Had not had a turnover the first five games. He fumbled twice, and the Lions still undefeated at home this season. 23-16, victorious over the Buccaneers, who fall to 4-3. and three. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Owens alongside the NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. And, uh, Pat, we've talked time and time again yes. this season about Lions going back to the run, or at least maybe trying to establish the run. Mm -hmm. Kevin Jones has been a big part of that, and at one point in this game, Tampa Bay was putting eight guys in the box. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, did you feel the flavor of Rod Marinelli had a meeting with his offensive coaches and said, we're going to do this the old-fashioned way? They only throw 20 times. Yep. They go pound the ball. Now, when you look at the numbers, it's really misleading because Tampa Bay controlled the clock for 11 minutes more, had about 150 yards more of offense, didn't have the scores. You already talked about those fumbles, and they became the critical factors in this game. One of them was at first and goal uh, in Detroit territory. That was territory. a scoring that drive was, that was, was going to be that something. Cost him, and that led to a Lions touchdown, which put him up 23. And the other one almost seven. got Garcia killed because it was a fumble <laughs> that flopped into the hands of Rodgers, and then he proceeded to run over Garcia. Well, speaking about getting killed, John Kitten in today's sack just three times, which for him this well, season th but, is But fantastic. the ratio, though, when you throw the ball 20 times and get sacked three times, you still can't pass block. Lions lead the NFL fell in takeaways this season and that is you yeah. know the defense they gave up 56 points in Philadelphia so the, you know when you look at the numbers over the course of the season they'll be skewed a little bit but they are getting better week in week out and especially now that they had the bye and, and, and you brought up Kevin Jones to start this show so let's finish with Kevin Jones Kevin Jones gets 21 touches today as a runner and a receiver for 110 yards Game started with his wife singing the national anthem. We need her every week in Detroit. And we need Kevin on the field all the time. Tatum Bell, get in the back seat. Yeah, here's the, well, Tatum Bell wanted to be traded, did not get traded before he the did. deadline on Tuesday. Real quickly here, uh, Lions, John Kitney, you said, had 20 pass attempts. He did not have a touchdown again this week. That's fine because they got the victory. Is this a trend you think you're going to see in Detroit? Well, I think what you get now is the opponents have to look at you as a balanced football team, and they're going to have to play some run defense. They're going to have to drop a safety. And we talked in the pre about this and when we did the analysis of these games coming in that the Bucs were not going to drop a safety. They're going to play four deep, so you take advantage of that. Now someone's going to creep in and do it. You're going to see post patterns to Roy Williams after this. There's more problems when you play Detroit. You've been saying this for a couple weeks on the other side, though. Ernest Graham is a heck of a football I'm player. I'm telling you, the guy's Lamont Jordan. Well today, yeah. He's a powerful guy that yeah. they can live with, and they'll be fine. Mike Bennett got a couple of carries, but uh, who cares? They lost the game. They did lose the game, and they are 4-3 and three on the season. For more on the Lions and Buccaneers or any other game in week, uh, where are we? We're in week seven here. Seven. Be sure to stay everything on uh, CBS Sports.com. Look at everything on CBS Sports.com and watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Norwood. Take care. Yeah.